Hey guys, and welcome back to Do It On A Dime. Today, we're spring cleaning the bathroom on a budget. I first started out with a clean and declutter of the space under the sink. It had gotten pretty bad and I wanted a system that actually worked. And I used all dollar store containers to do this. This gave me an opportunity to stock up on the inexpensive products I love using and create an upstairs cleaning caddy. If you know me, you know how much I'm obsessed with these because it puts all of the things you're using in one spot so it makes cleaning really easy. The after was so functional and really satisfying to clean up. When working in the bathroom, I like to work from the top of the room downward. And one of my favorite $1 products is this duster I picked up from the dollar store. It is so awesome for all of those hard to reach places, including light fixtures. Use vinegar and a toothbrush to get all of the grime out of your faucets and pick up some baby oil. It will make any fixture shine like brand new. You have to try this. When cleaning the toilet, I like to use really inexpensive products and $1 disinfectant wipes goes a long way to clean the outside. And the best hack ever is to take an old screwdriver, stick a wipe on top of it and clean all of those hard to reach crevices. I'm not gonna show you the after, but trust me, it is worth it. After letting your toilet bowl cleaner dry, a great way to disinfect it is to pour a little bit of pine saw into the bottom of the holster to kill all the germs. Rather than candles, I like to use Renews It for a fresh scent in the bathroom. They're flameless and kid-friendly, and they're also designed to work in small spaces. My favorite is the Pulmeria Coconut Pineapple Scent. I also really like the Vanilla Apricot Blossom and Almond. I love even more that they're three scents rolled all into one, and next time you're at Walmart, pick one up. They are just a buck. Now we're jumping back in the shower because I want to show you my favorite tip using a dish cleaning wand. These are just a dollar. Fill it with vinegar and a couple of drops of dish soap and it makes a great shower door cleaner. You can even use this on any part of your shower, including the floor. Rinse out the shower for a few minutes with hot water, squeegee off, and you will love the shine on your doors. If you have any really bad set-in stains, put some soft scrub on the area. This is a really gentle cleanser and you can rub it in with any type of $1 scrub brush or sponge, rinse it off and it will look new again. When we generally clean the bathroom, we do things like the mirrors and the countertops, but when I'm spring cleaning, I also like to go the extra mile and clean the cabinet faces. Lots of toothpaste gets on here and don't forget that little area between the floor and the cabinet. I think the final touches make all the difference, laundering towels and bath mats and putting out a few things to make the space feel fresh. I hope this video inspired you to tackle a space in your bathroom. Maybe it's a quick organizing project under the sink or even trying out a few of these tips and hacks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys soon. It's so clean. I know, it never looks like this, right? <laughs> This is Squeegee over here. Yeah.